So, should we move on to the t- next topic? <laughs> oh, I can't wait for this one. King's in here and scores! Rashford! Rashford finds the back of the net! The Five Live Football Daily. He will be a brilliant centre forward, there's no doubt about that. People in that defence are not doing the job that they're paid to be doing. There's not one player has played better in their career. He's been the talk of world football all week. This is more than just a game. More than just a game. Subscribe to the Five Live Football Daily podcast to receive the latest news, views, and analysis direct to your inbox. The one that came your way, though, lovely first touch and then bang. Yeah, left foot as well, which I was very surprised it went in a straight line. <laughs> Last week, Fred mentioned that he didn't believe in the moon landings and that he thinks that the entire thing could have been staged. Yeah. The conversation continued after we finished the recording. Today, we've all brought in our conspiracy theories. Now, Fred, you've got a new one today. Well, yeah, one of the things is, and I've not really spoken about this in the past. He's excited, look at him. I can see that. I, I, I really love a conspiracy theory. <laughs> I, I love all these things out there where, you know, like the moon landings, yep. did they exist? There's all this evidence to suggest they didn't. And there's so many more out there. And I love a programme on TV about it. I love reading about it. Mm-hmm. And what I did was I wanted you to bring in Conspiracy theories this week, things that interest you, things that we can debate and argue whether they really happened. And you know what? Do you want me to kick it off? You to kick it off, Andrew. I'm going to kick it off. There's Apart from our award-winning podcast, there are are (laughs) other podcasts out there. And there's one called The Flat Earthers. Ooh. Right, and these guys, it's a group of people who believe that the world is not round. Eh? It is flat. What? Now, now I'm going to have to explain here. I am not coming out now saying I think the world is flat, mm-hmm. but it could be. The it, world could be flat. flat. It could be flat. There's evidence to suggest that the world isn't round. What, what about... And I know you go back in the day and all these people were setting off sail and they're worried about falling off the edge of the yeah. earth and then they, they realise that they can't. But... It could be. But think about the evidence. So what about photographic evidence from spacecraft, which shows that the Earth is spherical? Felix Baumgarter jumped from that thing. Red Bull tweeted us last week, by oh, the I way. Did, yeah, yeah I did you that. see that? Red Bull tweeted about Felix Baumgarter. Did they? So when he jumped, you can see the Earth's round. No. You can. Right. Well, so, go on. Because the, the pictures which you see, the horizon always appears flat apart from nasa pictures which yeah. some say could be doctored <laughs> could be doctored well, you, the, the you... theory with the flat earth is right you got the earth and it's like it's round it's like, like a, a disc a, like a disc not completely flat it's probably bulbous underneath yeah. in the middle of it is the north pole <laughs> right is bang in the middle around the outside is the south pole yeah and that is like a big wall of ice <laughs> the South Pole. Robbie's right. And th- this adds up a little bit. This is why all governments now have got bases on the South Pole. You can't go to the South Pole now as a punter. You can't just turn up and go. It's you all can. controlled. You can't. You've I've got, got a friend who, who, who's, who's got the only privately owned runway near the South Pole. Near it. They... See, you just said near it. Don't say near but the then, South but Pole. But then they fly people in who pay a lot of money and then they trek to the South Pole. It's like one of these big adventure holidays. But go on. I, I, so you I've got cut that, you. right? Hitler was obsessed with it, the was South he? Pole. Obsessed with it, obsessed with it, aliens and all that. But there's, there's certain things which you can test. Yep. Say if you're in a helicopter, right? Yeah. If you got in a helicopter and hovered, yep. why, if the world is round and spins, why does your destination not come to you? Because of the principle of relativity. Talk us through it. So the atmosphere of the Earth, as it spins, carries around with the Earth. In the same way, if you're in a plane that's flying forward at 100 miles an hour and you throw a tennis ball up in the air in the plane, the tennis ball doesn't hit the back of the plane. It carries on with you. It's a fundamental precept of physics. Yeah, there you go. (laughs) (laughs) He's hammered you there. We said what makes you angry, Fred. He's hammered you there. Come on, Andrew. Come on, Andrew. Don't give up that easy. All right, I'll carry on. (laughs) He's gone. Why? Why then? If we're hurtling through space. 
rivers and... <clears throat> it's gone. Right <laughs> Turn on those voice tweets. <laughs> Where are the vocals? Why, 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 would, why, would, why, why would water stay still? Why is it not wobbling all over the place? So, same reason. I'm not, I'm not all fair with it. So go on, relativity. <laughs> you, out, you know what it is. <laughs> hey, it's not my subject. You, you, like, you know you're in an aeroplane. Yeah. And it's flying at 600 miles an hour. And then you throw a tennis ball from within the cabin. The tennis ball goes up and it lands in your hand. It doesn't go up and hit the back of the plane. And the reason is it has forward momentum based on the fact that it was travelling forward at the time it was thrown. So it just comes straight back down into your hand. In the same way, the Earth and its atmosphere is a bit like the cabin of a plane, as I understand it. So if you throw a tennis ball up in the air on the Earth, it just comes down. But as you understand it... Well, that's called the principle of relative. I mean, I didn't do physics uh, at university. You know what you should have done? You You should have asked me. Because he's too clever. (laughs) (laughs) What about the laser? Go on. Oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. If you fire a laser... Yep. ...around about 16 miles, Mm -hmm. if the world was curved, if you was on the other side of it, and this has been test... You would not be able to see it. Yeah, but you can. That's interesting. So why can you not? Why can you not? Don't know. Don't know that one, Rob. Any thoughts? Well, what about Aristotle? What about him? What about him? Who is he, Rob? Who's Aristotle? He's <laughs> a Greek philosopher, Andrew. Just gives a bit of background on Aristotle, Aristotle. before. <laughs> give us a bit of background on <laughs> Just gives a bit of background on I've Aristotle. I've just produced Aristotle. No, just a bit of background on Aristotle. Just paint a picture. He was, who, who he was he? a Greek philosopher, Andrew. He was what a Greek was philosopher. philosopher. What, what was he? And so what happened was with Aristotle, he noticed during the lunar eclipses, the shadow on the moon's surface is round. The yeah. shadow is the Earth. Yeah, that's... What? Yeah? Go well, on. Aristotle yeah. was a great... Greek philosopher. So basically, he noticed that during lunar eclipses, the shadow on the moon's surface is round. So that's the shadow of the Earth. Fred, if you had to yeah. put money on it, if, yeah. if you if you if you had if you had to put a grand on whether the Earth is flat or slightly bowl shaped, with the South Pole around the perimeter and the North Pole in the middle, or is actually a sphere, what are you giving me? Let's say it's even money. Which would you? Which way would you bet? Even money. Even money. Oh, you yeah. can't give even money. <laughs> you're, 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 you would go for round. You'd go for spherical. I wouldn't. I would have a bet on even money. Give me. Give me. Say. Say. Okay. Five to one. Oh, I'd go a grand on flat. Would you really? For the sake of a grand. Wow. In flat. But so when they say flat, flat. Yeah. Holland's flat. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it? Holland's yeah. flat. But what they mean by that is it doesn't have many mountains. Oh. They still it's still curved around the surface of the earth. What's your conspiracy? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Listen, you, hang you, on. you've picked on the wrong guy, Andrew. Oh, he's, he's, he's just clever ruined for you. it. He's too clever for it. you. Well, it's a theory, isn't it? Well, they, they, they also the flat Earthers reckon. Do you know what scientists suggest that the sun is one hundred and forty nine point six million kilometers from Earth? Yeah. The flat Earthers believe it's only four thousand miles above us. Above us. Really? Yeah. And they suggest that the sun and moon have the same dimensions. Both stars have a diameter of 32 miles. But where are they getting this stuff from? Because... And they've actually got a podcast where they discuss this every week. Yeah. What with new bits of evidence that are coming in and the lasers. And they're, they're, NASA. they're all so over na- it. So basically, let's think about how wide this conspiracy must be because it includes pretty much every astrophysicist in the world. It includes everybody at NASA. There must be thousands of people. So the question I've got for you... Yes, round. Yeah, exactly. So why are he... But if it's flat, then a lot it's of people... It's not flat. Exactly, it isn't. But if, it, if, if Fred is right, then there must be a lot of people who are lying. So the question yes. is, why? What is their motivation to lie? Why are they perpetrating this huge fraud on the world, according to the flat earthers? But, but, then, but then if, you, if you're going to use that argument, why are they lying towards us? There's all these conspiracy theories where people think we're lying. JFK, for instance. Yeah. All these people must know what really happened there. The Twin Towers, there's yeah, there was conspiracy a, theories about There's all sorts of... But con- there was an incentive with JFK. Maybe they were worried that if it got out that it wasn't Lee Harvey Oswald, then they would find out it was the CIA or the FBI. So they've got an incentive to cover up what was really happening because they're trying to divert attention onto this innocent person. Obviously, we all think that Harvey Oswald did kill him. But in the Flat Earther... What was the... So, OK, on the Flat Earth, what about yeah. this one then? So I've, I've, I've already come up with Aristotle... Oh, don't start again. No. So listen, listen. Don't get all aggressive because he's got you. He's, he's, he's killed your argument. He's very clever, but Andrew, you should have thought before you come on that topic, right? What about this? A ship, a ship. Yeah. In the, in the, so if you've ever stared off into the horizon, 
every <laughs> if you've ever stared into the horizon, yep. you might notice approaching ships do not just appear, what, do they? Ships. Ships. They just not they just don't appear, do they? Right. Ships just don't appear, do they? What, right? they kind of get bigger and yeah. yeah. They well, emerge, what's your point? I've, let me read it. I've, re- I've, I've done my research. Let me read it. Then you can answer. You don't right? research. You're reading. If you ever stared off into the horizon, you <laughs> might notice approaching ships do not just appear out of the horizon. Yeah. And then and in brackets, like they should have if the world was flat, but rather emerge from beneath the sea, which only happens due to the curvature of the Earth. Yeah. Well, I'm not saying it's completely flat. I'm well, saying it's bulbous. Your not like. Bank it. We say it's bul- They say it's bulbous. Oh, it's a bulb now. Well, it's like bulbous. It's not like flat. It's like concave, <laughs> isn't it? Like a um, like, like a bulb. Yeah. Like a what? Like a turnip. <laughs> <laughs> so the world's gone because he's amateur. You've got the world's gone. Well, there was some dinosaurs. It's like <laughs> a turnip. I say it's, it's bulbous. You say it's flat. <laughs> so now you change from the it's flat to it's like a turnip. <laughs> can, can, I, can, can I can I throw in my one? Can I throw in my one? Yeah, go on. So the, you, the, can we just ask? Do you still believe the world's flat? But I said that I didn't say it's flat. I'm saying it's a conspiracy theory. So what do you think now? Huh? I think it's flat. <laughs> <laughs> because you see, he bangs on about Aristotle's and his theories. <laughs> Just a theory, Aristotle. Where's Aristotle's proof? Oh well, well that's what the great. Where's problem, Aristotle's the great, proof? The great problem. No, don't quote okay. Aristotle and don't back it up. Well, Where's Ar- his proof? Aristotle was wrong about tons of stuff. Well, exactly, he's wrong about this as well. Yeah. Well, um, if, I fired a, if I fire, if I fire a bullet, right? <laughs> He's let it go, Andrew. Oh, let no. it go. If I a bullet, he has if lost I, it. If I fire, the red mist. If I fire a bullet straight up in the air, yes. Huh? Why does it come back down? Why, if it's spinning, it'd end up miles away. Yeah. That's no, because because the, the principle earth. of relativity again. Relativity. Yeah, I get that. What? You, you, can you, can you fire up you the air? You get it. Explain me the what? principle of relativity. Don't come for me, Andrew. <laughs> but just, just briefly. Don't, don't go on. Just so briefly. you had a tennis ball and you had an aeroplane, you threw it up. <laughs> it would come back down to you. That's not Aristotle's theory. What? No, it's in an aeroplane. <laughs> Who's, who is Aristotle anyway? Oh, like, no, he's he, one of Matthew's mates. <laughs> anyway, one of the great, one of the great things.